battle space shaping is a huge capability that we bring to the fight. Today what we ended up doing was a uh, amphibious landing on the beach and then pushed into the uh, hinterland so that follow-on forces could have an idea of what they're looking at. For Bold Alligator, what we're, uh, what we're testing out is really getting those reports back from the beach to the ship. We've been sending people through dive school, practicing hydrographic surveys, beach reps, all of our insert capabilities make it easier to, uh, to insert into places that would be harder for conventional forces to get to. It allows commanders to make better timely decisions on uh, what forces they want to bring in after us and uh, gives them a better idea of what's happening on the ground. It's building our readiness where we're shifting back to amphibious routes, moving that shift more to maritime forces again. Uh, we're putting a lot more effort into building uh, our readiness as a, a seagoing military. Moving from ship to shore uh, and taking inland objectives, uh, getting back to uh, what we really do as Marines. This is what we have right now. This is what makes the Marine Corps amphibious. Uh, without this, we wouldn't be the kind of unit that we are, uh, the Marine Corps as a whole. So bringing these vehicles to the fight uh, and coming uh, with that kind of firepower and uh, overwhelming force, and essentially opening up uh, the supply lines for the rest of the BLT uh, or Special Purpose MAGTAF to move through uh, and utilize those routes. The more that we can get out, the more that we can operate, uh, that's always going to be priceless training for the Marines. 